So greetings from Pennsylvania on this early Tuesday morning. Today's July 2nd. And out here is the Allegheny River. We're just outside of Pittsburgh here in western Pennsylvania. And we'll be out here this we'll be out in this area for the next three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But what are we doing out here on the Allegheny River today? Well you've already seen by the title of this video. You know I'm trying to get to every state park in Pennsylvania. I've been to 109 out of 124. This is state park number 110. You can't exactly see it from this point. We got a kayak out to it. Yes, yeah, so I believe this is called. This is, this is like 12 mile, 12 mile island or 10 mile island. And walk out here to the river a little bit. Our state park is. I think that's that's out there is the bridge I crossed over for uh, the turnpike I-76. That's where we got to get out to where that bridge is out there. Let me zoom in on it for you. The bridge uses the island for some of the piers, so that's where we gotta go. There's actually two islands out there, but it's kind of a different state park. I'll talk about that a little bit later maybe, but check out the fog rising up off the river here. Got some ducks flying off. All right, but we gotta get, got the kayak out here. This is, uh, what is this, deer something boat ramp? I forget the exact name, but right off of uh, Freeport Road up there. So let's uh, get the life vest on, get paddling. Looks like some nice calm water to paddle through. All right, and away we go. Yes, this is Allegheny Island State Park. There is no actual like infrastructure to this park. No camping, no trails. It's just two islands out here in the middle of the Allegheny River. And you're only seeing part of the Allegheny here. Like I said, off to our right is an island. But once you get past this island, you'll see how big the Allegheny is. Look at that, we're kayaking right onto this fog. Like I said, it's the only way to get to this island is to kayak out to it, or the two islands. Look at that sun. Going past that one, uh, I call it 10 mile island or 12 mile island. I think you should be able to see the bridge up ahead, even with the sun. But our island that we're headed to is just up ahead. Well, that's more kayaking to do, but we're getting there. There's like some, this water seems pretty still, but there's some like uh, awkward currents in this river. Kind of weird. That's our island up ahead. Well, the one we're going to, like, so there's two of them. You can't actually get to the other one from here, although it's just down the river. There's a, there's a dam that separates the two of them, so that's a little awkward, too. All right, gotta make our way over there. Try and head to the right side, I think. Yeah, so right up here is our island that we're headed to current is turning me all over the place here but there's the one island so I'm trying to find a place to get on shore so I get turned completely around here yeah, but that, down that way is the way I came from so I think I can officially say that I'm now here at Allegheny Island State Park my 110th state park let's uh, find a place to get ashore well I was considering getting off here but this is a that's a gunky mess as soon as I step in there I'll we'll try to find a slightly better spot. I think that's the plan. Let's go around this way. Maybe find a more spot that's not as muddy, more rocky.
I guess we technically don't have to get on the island, but let's see what we can find. There's no trails or anything on here. Yeah, there's the bridge for the turnpike. I can see the dam up ahead too. So we are we are paddling uh, upstream here. It's a little bit, a little bit easier going back, I guess you could say. So I'm just trying to find a. We'll paddle up this way a little bit more. Don't want to get too close to the dam. Maybe right over here. Somewhere. Big tree right there. Oh, I don't want to run ram into that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so we have officially landed on Allegheny Islands State Park. Once again, there's the bridge. We came across that earlier this morning. I think I might be heading back that way again to get to my next location. Yeah. Oh, there are deer tracks here, so wildlife makes its way out here. And yeah, they got a lot of this stuff growing here too, the Japanese knotweed. It's all this stuff. An invasive species, it just kind of takes over everywhere. Yeah, like I said, there's no trails or anything in this park. Yeah, so it's a bit of an odd state park. I feel like it should be more just like, what do you call it, state forest land or something like that, or a natural area when visiting those. I mean, a state, when you think of a state park, you think of camping and trails and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you can kayak here, but there's really no infrastructure here at all. But it's cool that it's preserved. A lot of the other islands along here have houses and vacation cabins on them and stuff like this stuff like that but cool little spot it's slightly noisy from the traffic there but it's still picturesque big old trees what are these oh these are silver maples that one's a sycamore over there but they're pretty big been here for a while. Those roots are like helping to hold the island together, literally. Same with the roots up there. Yeah, this was a nice place to get off. It's more sandy than muddy here, so you don't really sink in. Should we go up in there a little bit? I don't know. I don't. Looks just pretty thick and overgrown. All this knotweed stuff. It's like a jungle. So I think we'll probably hop back into kayak and make our way back. Um, you could spend more time here. You could kayak. I think you can kayak all the way around. You do have to be careful. There's a dam up there. What they call it, a low head dam. You don't want to get caught in that or you're not coming out to say the least. Yeah. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of other places planned for the day so we kind of got to get going too. I'll be out in Western PA for three days. <laughs> Yeah, I left at, I woke up at 1 this morning, left at 2 a.m. just to make the four-hour drive out here. Got here at the, at the boat ramp at about 6. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit after 6. It took me about half an hour to kayak out here, I'll say. So, yeah. I'm not sure how busy it gets on the weekends with people boating and stuff, but this morning it's pretty nice out here. All right, so farewell to the Allegheny Islands. I got to stuck in the mud here. Hold on a second. There we go. Ease our way out. 
Not quite. There we go. We can kayak right between this log here. Yes, like I said, it should be a little bit easier paddling on the way back. Oh, train. Don't have to fight the current on the way back. That's pretty cool. Yeah, not, not kayaking into the, <laughs> not kayaking into the sun either. Sun, <laughs> that train whistle. The sun was beautiful coming up, but it was blinding my eyes, to say the least. We're closing in on the boat ramp. I can see it up ahead. At least I think that's it up there. There's lots of boat ramps, but for like private boat ramps, I can see the one I came in on, the public one. Uh, I think it's operated by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, so it's, it's a public one. Well, there's some wildlife. That's a merganser flying off. There's a great, oh, my boat's twisting around. There's a great blue heron over there. I'll try to get on film. He's over there on the shoreline. Let me see if I can zoom in on him for you. Where are you, buddy? There he is. He's looking at me. We'll let him go, though. There's another duck out there in the river. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Find him with the camera. Hold on. There he is. Wow, he's got a beautiful green head. Up ahead, there's the ramp. Someone's letting, someone else is letting her boat in there. Well, that was Allegheny Island State Park. Like, so there is more. There's another island. I could have kayaked around a little bit more, but like, so I got other things, other places to go today. In the future, we'll come back and do a more comprehensive kayak around. I think, but because I'm planning on doing another, an, like an official state park series where I feature more what these state parks have to offer. But today, we're just kind of stopping in. Got to see some wildlife on the way back. All right, but we gotta keep on going with today's adventure. Headed off to the site of the Battle of Bushy Run. So hopefully I'll see you there. Thanks for coming along.